Welcome everyone to another episode of Bryce Side. Today we're in Camborne to celebrate Trevivic Day, one of our favourite days here in the Cornish calendar. There's going to be music, there's going to be food, but more importantly, there's going to be steam engines. So let's go check it out. <laughs> Cornish flag behind them. Um, yeah. Look at the finish! Shell Bell's here. Absolutely. AJ's Donking. here. Matilda's somewhere. <laughs> so the main street here in Camborne, packed as always. There'll be stalls all the way down it. And you carry on, and I think you kind of go into the left. I can't remember the name of the street, but that's where all the steam engines are lined up. And then later on in the day, they'll do a big parade through the uh, main street here. Uh, not Main Street USA in Disney, but Main Street in Camborne. Always a great and lively atmosphere here when you're in Camborne during Trevivic Day. I love it. It's become one of our little traditions. We come here, I think we've been here several years straight now, and we've certainly documented it uh, three or four times on the channel, so uh, yeah, good fun. Lots of stalls here on the left hand side, usually like uh, like craft things and uh, uh, what food items are over there. Sorry, dipping the camera down so I'm not uh, putting it like straight in somebody's face. Some beverages there. Oh, it's like a crepe, um, like a crepe stand. That's amazing, I do love crepes. Yeah. Look what good in building there, Prime Realty, I think. Who else we got? Bags. Um, supporting local people with MS, that's a great charity. All right, so loads of things here. It's very busy, my goodness. And Cornish cakes there, they look delicious. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> Hello. And the Candy Cottage, we've seen that several times here at these events. Lots of uh, sweet treats on there. I expect the kids will be wanting something from there later on. And carrying on down the street, the stalls have now switched over to the right-hand side. They are on the uh, left over there, obviously the right looking back, but um, they've now switched to this side. There's some face painting there. What else have we got? We've got, uh, I don't quite know what that tent is. No idea. Lots of things. There's like army recruitment, if that uh, sort of thing floats your boat. Um, doesn't float my boat particularly, but uh, I'm very thankful to our armed services. Heartlands, Cornish flags there. What is Heartlands? We've been to Heartlands before. Maybe um, if I think about it later when editing this video, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to see our Heartlands video. And also I'll leave a link in the description for our previous uh, days here in Camborne for Trevivic Day. If you want to see them. Alright, I've lost the kids and Shelley. And Shelley's mum. They're here somewhere. I've no idea where they are. Okay, let's maybe backtrack and find them. There we go. Ooh banner out there from that store saying that it's Trevivic Day. Okay, they've got another little musical act there on the left hand side going down so the stalls have all switched back over to the left now so they kind of zigzag down the street but uh, a little bit more music going on. clothing store and some other little bits and pieces in there. I'm getting kind of hungry. I don't know whether to have a pasty because, I mean, you know, it is Trevivic Day. Um, do we go with a pasty? Or, although that said, I mean, I do literally eat hundreds of pasties, so I think, you know, we need to curb it a little bit because it does get a little bit ridiculous. Like I've said before, I know I'm Cornish and, um, you know, my arteries are designed to consume or to, for my body to consume more pasties than uh, people who are non-Cornish. But, you know, even so, there has to be a limit, doesn't there? I expect I'll probably end up with like a burger, something like that maybe. I see a stall down there saying the Great British Carvery, so we'll have a little look. Uh, I think there's quite a few food choices here. My goodness, it's very busy down there. Just a sea of heads. shop there, Berryman's Bakery. They do some delicious pasties. If you're ever in the Camborne area, do pop into Berryman's and have a pasty from there because uh, the one I had oh, I don't know, a couple of months back was uh, really good. All right. Very tempting there to have something from a great British carvery. They got sausage and bacon rolls, roast pork, tea and coffee. I don't know, I think we'll probably move on down the street and see what else is available. Um, I've well, got Scooby-Doo walking past, how amazing is that? Just passing the Wagner's pub here in the main street and it is starting to thicken up with the crowds. Nice Costa here if you want a nice uh, hot beverage. Uh, and a Yoda flag. Or is it Grogu? Probably Grogu, I would say, from the Mandalorian series. Uh, but lots and lots of people. Want a weird one? Yeah, this is, um, this is quite intense. Got a Philps pasty shop there if you want a pasty. That's another good place to get a pasty. Philps, highly recommend. 
what are these other stalls up on the right hand side? I see a Jamaican flag, so I'm assuming there's some sort of like Caribbean uh, cuisine there. Yep, there we have it. Authentic Caribbean food. Delicious. Although I wasn't keen on the goat curry when we had one once. That wasn't my favourite of third dishes. Definitely not. Lots more stalls here on the right hand side. Switch back over to the right now. Some crafts, like scarves, £4 each, or any three for £10, that's like a good deal. Some like jewellery here for sale. Alright. Somebody they're lugging a very large cross around. I don't think Jesus had wheel on the, like a wheel on the um, end of his cross, but uh, you know, I suppose it is the modern time, so uh, maybe that wheel is very helpful to that individual uh, bearing that cross. And now uh, the stalls have gone back over to the left side. There's a burger tent up there, so maybe we'll have a little look in there, uh, just in by the main square here. I forget what the square is called here. I'm not very good with my place names here in Camborne, but uh, we've got the square that goes in there just opposite the rose. And here, a burger tent. Nice. I think we've eaten from these guys before. Very difficult to film with all these people. You're trying, you're trying to not to, you're trying not to have like the um, camera in anyone's face to be too intrusive. Difficult to get in here because of all the crowds. But here in the square, there's another uh, like bandstand thing made up with some singing going on, some music being played, etc. Check out these steam engines on display. They're just up here and to my left. Just came across this plaque. Site of Richard Trevivick's 1801 test run for his high pressure steam carriage. That's amazing. This here is 4th Street. Um, it's officially 4th Street, but it's otherwise known as Camborne Hill, which is down there. So Richard Trevivick, back in 80, well, back, I put my teeth back in, back in 1801, I believe it was on a Christmas Eve, started all the way down there and chugged his way up this hill past where now the train station here now is in Camborne and all the way up to Beacon where I believe the engine overheated and blew up but that's besides the point he still did a world first amazing man and I've lost Shelley again and this is the reason why we're here all these steam engines here right beside the Weatherspoons, formerly the Berkeley Centre of course fun fact about the Berkeley Centre my mum no not my mum well my mum's mum's my granny met my granddad in here way back when and then uh, well the rest is history so here's that building where my gran met my granddad they would have gone in there it was a big ice rink it wasn't called the berkeley center i just confirmed with shelley's mum um it wasn't called the berkeley center then but it's um but yeah it used to be an ice rink back in the day so that's where uh, my granddad met my grandmother how about that amazing look at this Rio, by the look of it. States Air. Rio. Do you want a picture in front of the train? Yeah. Our Bray threshing contractors, Helston Cornwall. Look at this shiny beast. I love that. Look at it. Amazing. The size of this wheel is taller than me. Awesome. Another amazing steam engine here, the P and S Simmons and family, Cornwall, states there on the, uh, like that top sort of board in there, look at that, it's an amazing thing, it's huge. Cornwall's little sort of logo there, our badge, one and all. You often see it written in Cornish nowadays because of course they are reviving the Cornish language. So you don't, well, you might, they might duel it, you might see it one and all, but uh, usually you'll uh, see it in Cornish now. Look at this one here, the governor. This one looks like it's come down from Edinburgh. That's, uh, that's some trek, isn't it? It's a few hundred miles. I doubt it would have come down under its own steam. Uh, no joke intended there. But um, yeah, an amazing piece of machinery. Hey, Tilly! You all right? You enjoying all the steam engines? <laughs> yeah, no, I know you've got a sour sweet there, haven't you? <laughs> Look at this one. George. Amazing. Oh, I can't wait until they all parade down the street later. I love it. I've just confirmed with one of the drivers, um, it's between three o'clock and half past three that they go down the main street on their parade. Um, we're, we're about, oh, I don't know, hour, hour and a half away from that time. 
they're all amazing. I'm kind of calling them all amazing, but I think they are. Look at this. It doesn't state where this one is from. It just says Dolly Gray up on that, like, engine device. <laughs> smaller steam engine here um, up on a up on a trailer I assume he'll be I assume he'll be like um, as part of the parade I would have thought so he'll probably bring him down and um, he'll uh, drive down the street with all the others but uh, hey tall chimney check out this classic car stakes number 27 on the front of it obviously some sort of racing vehicle but look at that amazing seen this engine a few times for Cornishman look at that it's very hot standing here, my goodness. I don't think I want to touch that sort of drum thing because I expect it's very hot to touch. Probably okay, but uh, I don't intend to do that. Built in 1907. Cornish flags there. Always such a popular event. So crowded here with people looking at all the engines and all the stalls back in that direction. Brilliant. This steam engine is so big. Can hardly fit it in frame. I'd have to stand back quite a few feet to uh, get the whole thing. But look at that. It says Leeds there. I wonder if it's come down from Leeds or whether it was just built in Leeds. What an amazing piece of machinery. Gosh, size of it. This one here states Janet. I wonder what I would call a steam engine. If I owned a steam engine, what would I call it? Hmm. I don't know. What would you guys call a steam engine? Maybe um, drop me a comment. Oh yes, we've seen this one before. Da, 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 da. The Enterprise, not the USS Enterprise, of course. Probably the most famous Enterprise, but this is the steam engine Enterprise. Boldly going where no one has been before. Camborn. This line of steam engines is endless. All these people up there. And by the way, I have lost Shelley and the kids again. I have no idea where they are. I don't know if you can see because of the sunlight there, but this one says St. Agnes. This one's come from St. Agnes. Nice. These really are lovely. Very difficult to film when it's um, so busy, I must say. It's a bit of give and take. Everyone. Um, you know, everyone's trying to get their photos and videos and pictures and stuff, so, you know, you take it in turns and get your, uh, get the shot that you want. Look at this one. Lady... Lady Gwen. There you go, there's the Lady Gwen. Like a steamroller, that one, isn't it? If I remember rightly, I think some, like, pennies are tossed out in front of the steamroller ones um, to, like, like, you know, so they get all crushed and then you retrieve the penny. Kind of like a very large pressed penny machine. Another beautiful engine from Leeds. I assume, well, I mean Leeds, I say I assume. I mean, I know that like Leeds, my goodness, that one's just letting off some steam. Let off some steam. That was one of the uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger lines, wasn't it? Um, but, yeah, Leeds. Big um, industrial city, isn't it? So uh, quite a few of these are constructed in Leeds. <laughs> A little bit of Dixie there playing. Amazing. I want to change now to uh, what's this song called? This one is um, Turkey in the Straw, isn't it? Turkey in the Straw, this song is called. Fun fact about Turkey in the Straw, it was Billy the Kid's favourite piece of music. So if you ever get asked that in a pub quiz, what was Billy the Kid's favourite piece of music? Turkey in the Straw. Down here we have a replica of the Puffing Devil, which um, is, uh, or what was, like I said, a replica of Richard Trevivick's actual little steam engine there that he drove up Camborne Hill. Obviously the real one blew up, uh, but there we go, a replica of the Puffing Devil. How amazing is that? Look at that. Love his clothes. I think I could get away with wearing some clothes like that. I would like to wear I do like the uh, socks. Amazing. Yeah. Here we go, the Puffing Devil, 1801. Nice. All right. I'm getting ready to move. They usually, yeah, go up the street. Amazing. Can you imagine seeing that way back in the 1800s? 
Bicentenary 2023. Amazing costumes. Hello. I love Trivivic Day. If you've never been to Trivivic Day, make the effort. Make the effort. It is such a good laugh. And just like that, the Puffing Devil, replica of, replica of the Puffing Devil, has just returned. So it kind of goes up the street and back down. I'm not sure if, I don't think this goes on the actual parade, I don't know, I think this might be um, not fit enough to go on the parade, I'm not sure, I think it just chugs up and down this street, but uh, it's still an amazing piece of machinery. There's the man himself, a statue of Richard Trevivick here, just by the old library, I think it's a library, it might be a library, I don't know. Is that still a library, Shell Bell, is it not anymore? It was, it was. a library, I'm not sure if it's still a library, but um, anyway, there's the man himself, Richard Trevivick. Here he is, holding a, like a model of the Puffing Devil. Amazing. And he would have chugged up that hill, I assume. I think, going up in that direction toward Beacon. Uh, shall we try and find something to eat? Yes, please. What are you hankering for? Whatever we can get. Burger? Yeah. Excellent. like a name over there but I uh, can't really see it clearly with um, all the people standing there but uh, yeah we got our burger went for a cheeseburger cheeseburger I had some mustard on mine you just had yours plain didn't you Shelly's mummy just a plain burger with onions delicious mmm mm, kiddos and you went with ice cream consumed our burger we're heading back down in this direction to find our spot for like the parade um, it might be a fun fair here I'm not 100% sure but probably there's usually there's usually a fun fair um, but uh, I think it's about half an hour before the parade starts something like that by the way incidentally if you see yourself on the video you're watching this video and you see yourself drop a comment and say hi we're just gonna carry on in this direction uh, on the other side of uh, Weatherspoons, formerly the Berkeley Center I don't another name can't remember what it's called corn exchange I think um, right here by the Aldi, 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 how do you say it? Aldi? I've no idea. Anyway, um, thought we would get a little bit of air because there's lots of people everywhere. Like I said, it's very busy. Got a Rewind Radio team here, so we'll go and say hello to them. Oh, Rewind Radio! I can never say Rewind Radio. It always comes out... Hello, how are you? You all right? Yeah, good. good. How are you? Here we are, tune into them. And here for the Cornwall Blood Bikes, always a uh, good, uh, good cause. Hey! How goes it? Good. I keep thinking, as soon as I find the right jumper, I should be tempted. Is that comfy, Tilly, up there? You're going to ride off? 
Yeah, she's too good. I think it's good move. Is this your bike? No, no, mine's down the road. Oh, yours is down the road. I've got number five at the minute. You've got five? Oh, no, number five. Number five. Number five. Yeah. <laughs> oh, number five, I see. You haven't got five bikes? No, no. <laughs> oh, I think you made AJ very happy there. You're good, AJ. I've got a stand here for Cormac. That's interesting. in here, uh, who knows, might be a ghost train. I always do like a good ghost train. Yeah, I can't see a ghost train anywhere. I don't think there's a ghost train here, which is a shame, because I would have got on that. I do love a good ghost train, but uh, my goodness, it's very loud here. street to watch a parade right opposite Scallywags where I've just bought this coffee from. Nice! <laughs>
1707. Look at that, still going strong. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to do all the usual YouTube stuff like subscribe, smash the bell, and you'll never miss it on any video that we put up on YouTube. We're on social media Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at the Vice Side. So check us out there. So from us to you and all the steam engines, cheers, cheers. and gone. Cheers.